Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. I am Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio. I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship here. So if you are starting your own creative business, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now you all know I love talking about Canva on this channel, and I don't know if you've heard, but Canva just launched and released a bunch of new features. Um, and one of the ones that I am most excited for to try with with you is the background remover. Now I know what you're thinking, we've always had background remover for images especially, but now they have come out with a background remover for video. So essentially I can be filming this video right here and remove all of the background behind me and basically just have my talking head without a background, which is kind of nuts. So I really wanted to test out the feature and see how well it works. If Canva can do that with one click for me and not have to go through the trouble of using a very complicated video editor like Adobe Premiere, then I would love to use this feature in the future. So let's hop onto my laptop now and try out this new background remover off of video feature. All right, let's get right into it. Welcome to my laptop. I am logged into my Canva account right now. And I think the best way to test this out was would be probably to create a video file. So I'm gonna go into create a design and I'm going to click on this video right here. It can really be in any dimensions as you need it to be. For example, if you're filming using this for like a YouTube video or any kind of horizontal video, then this video format would probably be best. If you are creating a Reels, for example, or an Instagram video of some sort, then definitely go into um, like type in Instagram video or reels and it would give you the real size or this one probably um, but I'm just gonna use the normal video format um, and let's just test out the feature this will also work in presentation features so um, definitely like try it out in all different places all right so I'm gonna put my head here um, first off, we are going to put a background in. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put this random video in. Um, make sure there's no sound on this. It's just a video of a website that just that I designed for my client, and I thought this can just be like like pretend like this is my YouTube video. And then let's test out the background remover feature. So I'm gonna upload this one this video right here and this is just one of my youtube Look. video intros um and i'm going to remove the background of this youtube video now this is definitely like a pretty like lots of things in my background i have like greenery i have like a wall i have this cabinet and all this art so i'm gonna see how well canva actually does in removing uh all of the background detecting where the person is so might be a more challenging one for them to remove the background off, but if you have a video where there's like a clean background, I'm sure it would do an even better job. So I'm just gonna click on background remover and there we go. Um, it removed the background. Now I've done this before for with this exact video and that's probably why it did it so quickly. Um, if you were to upload the same video and remove the background probably take like a minute or something also this is a 4k video so the video size is definitely a lot bigger than probably most videos so if you have a smaller file size video this would also be faster all right so let's just see there are certain things that i see in the background that are still there like for example this oh let's see if i can adjust it can i remove it doesn't look like I can, like for the um, photo uh, photo background remover, there is like an eraser function where I can like erase bits in the background, but it looks like I can't do that with video. What I can do is I can obviously change up like how bright the video is and etc. but I don't need to do that. 
All right, so that's pretty much all you can do with the background remover. Replace background, I guess that just puts the background back. So overall, I would say it looks pretty good. I mean, there's still little bits here and there, but again, I think if you have a cleaner background, it would definitely do a way better job. But let's go with this. I'm gonna put it in this background and this is kind of mimicking like either a presentation format or kind of like those gaming videos where you see like people talking about their video without a background. So I really love that effect and I've never done that for my videos because usually I film it with these bubbles, um, which is with Loom. But this gives me another option that I can possibly film myself with, let's say my camera, my phone, and then I can just slot this video into my regular YouTube video and then remove the background, which gives it another cool effect. Welcome back Let's to another it. video. I am Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio and I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship Honestly, here. That looks so if pretty those are good. Topics, like I don't see anything in the background anymore for some reason. I guess I can always do this and just like remove some of that background manually. And that looks really Hello, good, to be honest. Of any interest to you, then be sure to subscribe. My hair does seem a little bit fuzzy in the ends, but honestly, that doesn't really bother me at all. I think it's done a really, really good job. So I, I would definitely recommend using this feature for any kind of like presentations that you're doing or just a walkthrough of some sort. Even if you're sending a video to a client, you can do a little video walkthrough. Um, or even for a YouTube video, you can now like really edit your whole YouTube video on Canva with their new video editing features. So I think that's a really cool function. All right, so next up, I wanted to test out a couple of other kind of like ideas. This is obviously the most common way to use it, but I thought, you know what? Like maybe we can create some cool other video things. I have no idea if this will work or not, but I need to find some videos. So we're gonna head to Pexels here, which is my favorite website to get stock photography and videography. And I'm gonna go down here and uh, filter to videos. And then I'm just gonna scroll through and find some clips that I think might work for this experiment. What I'm looking for is something with a clear focus on something in the front and with a cleaner background. Um, so I'm just gonna scroll through this and pick a couple of videos. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder if Canva will be able to detect all of these, like cut out the whole sky and just leave the flowers. That would be really cool. I'm gonna pick that one. So I'm just gonna download all of these videos that I think might be applicable. This one might be an interesting one. Again, clean background, clean focus. All right, so I'll pick some videos and I'll come back. All right, so I have a couple of videos that I have downloaded. Um, this flower one, and then we have this one with the holding of the flower. This one with this creepy hand coming out, um, as well as this like weird like rotating banana. And then I also just filmed really quickly on a white background um, of myself like pointing as well. Cause I think that might be a cool thing to do for like a reels or an Instagram ad or something where you're basically creating your own GIF, I guess, without the background. So that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna upload all of those into, um, into this space now. Let me just, add all of those videos in. All right, now that I have all of those videos in, I'm gonna create a different clip. Um, I'm just gonna add a different clip here and I'm just gonna put a background um, just so we can see the effect better. Um, so why don't we go ahead and remove the background of this one? All right, so I've gone ahead and uploaded all of my test videos here and removed all of the backgrounds of them. So far looking at it, it's looking actually pretty good. I'm pretty impressed so far. So let's look at them one by one. So we had the one with the pretty clean image um, and a clean background. So I'm sure it was easier. Now this stem here is very, very thin. So I'm surprised that it actually was able to detect this, this stem. So good job on that. This one is actually, I literally just filmed this. Um, 
but it's of me pointing and it's actually very good. So this one I filmed on a white, completely white background and so the outcome of it is definitely really, really good. Um, I can totally see this being used like in an ad of some sort. Like if I was doing a little presentation or a little reel or something like that, um, that was so easy to remove the background there. This banana was this little rotating banana. This was actually yellow on yellow. So I was really surprised that it was able to detect like where the banana yellow is and where the actual um, background yellow was. And then this one is that little creepy hand coming out. Again, every time there's like a person related, I feel like it does a way better job than objects. So as you can see here, this ban banana was a bit cut off and the stem here is a little bit blurry. But when it comes to the actual human hand and the human face, I feel like Canva does a really, really, really good job of actually distinctly um, cutting out exactly where the human image is. Um, and then the last one, you're going to be able to see that very clearly because this is, there's no human in this one. It's all flowers. The background wasn't like a clean background. It was like the sky. So obviously um, it was a little bit more challenging because there's clouds and stuff. But let's just take a quick look. So as you can see here, there is a bit of a blurring like the sky kind of keeps peeping out a bit. So I would say this one's like not as acceptable. I probably wouldn't use this. I mean, just for kind of an effect, like a quick effect, I think it's still pretty cool. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, it's awesome that I can like layer video on top of video and I can still see through it. Like that's kind of insane to me. I really love this option. I just think that maybe you really need to find a video that is super, super clean. Like if these flowers were in front of a clean white background, I think Canva would do a really great job cutting out the background. But when it comes to the sky, there is a lot of like clouds and different colors in the sky. So it does make it more challenging. So how I see these being used is definitely like I said in like a presentation but especially in reels I think it's such a cute and fun idea to add little animated things so if we were to just play this we can kind of see it hello all you guys come to welcome life. back to I'm gonna remove the audio just so we can watch it in peace and not hear my voice over my own voice um, so for example like this you can use it as a YouTube video or a presentation mode and then when it comes to these guys, it just looks like kind of fun gifs. Like, I really love that. And I think this can really add a lot of animation and excitement to either your uh, Instagram reels or Instagram videos. So I'm really excited to kind of see how other people are going to use this background remover video um, feature in their videos moving forward. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. All right, and that is it, you guys. How did you enjoy the tutorial? How do you love this new feature? Have you seen the rest of Canva's newly released and announced features yet? If not, I'm gonna be testing a lot of them on this channel with you to see if how we can creatively use those features for creating beautiful graphics and beautiful marketing material for your business. So be sure to subscribe to follow along on this testing journey by the way, if you haven't heard yet, I do have a class on Skillshare teaching about Canva basics, um, just like this tutorial over on Skillshare. So the class is called Canva Basics Launch Your Creative Business, and I go through all of the basic features of how to design on Canva and then how to use templates to make beautiful marketing material and launch material for your business. So if you're interested, be sure to check out that Skillshare class. You can take it for free with my 30 day free trial. I'll leave the link of that 30 day free trial in the description below and yeah, be sure to check it out. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.